Hello, this is Brian Lewis again, and we are going to go through here configuring the iSCSI initiator software. So I start the iSCSI initiator, and it comes up and it says, do you want to start the service automatically every time the server restarts? And yes, we do, because we want those disks that we attach to automatically be there for the server. So we click yes. And then the iSCSI configuration was, comes up. At this, we type in our target um, of 192.168.1.99, the QNAP SAN that we just configured. And this works with any iSCSI target. We hit connect, quick connect, it's connected. So we select done. The next thing we have to do is go to the volumes and devices because we've connected to the target but we don't have the disks yet. We just hit auto configure. Auto configure brings up the two disks that we've got configured, select OK, and we're done. We're now connected and we have the disk connected as logical disks. So let's go into server manager. And as we go into Server Manager here, we go down to Storage. In the Disk Management, we see the graphical view of all of our locally attached disks and our SAN disks. Uh, the server sees them as local disk, so they're the same as if we had a physical disk in the box. So we're going to right-click on there and bring the disks online. Right-click on Disk 1 online, right-click on Disk 2, bring it online. Now we go and we initialize the disk, right click, and we're going to initialize both disks, and we're going to bring them up as uh, MBR disks. Next, we have to create a new volume on there. I'm going to create a new simple volume. I'm going to take the full size, one gig. This is going to be our quorum disk. I'm not going to assign drive letters at this time. I could, but because I'm going to use them in the cluster, I'm just going to leave them unassigned with drive letters. Select Next. And I'm going to format it with NTFS and just do a quick format. That's all we need and finish. So the one gigabyte volume is done already, very quick because it's small. We're going to do another one here, new simple disk. Take the entire space because this is what we're going to use for our virtual machines we're going to store on here. Again, we don't want a drive letter. We go through and format. And that's it. Now we have these disks all set up and ready to go. From other machines, we connect up to them with the iSCSI target the exact same way. and then they're available there. We never have to format them again. They've only need to been brought online and formatted once. And that's it.